welcome to another edition of Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday on the same Saturday. It's a twofer. It's a double feature. If you watch my earlier video, which I will put in the description of this one, you, I did an unboxing of Monolith Arena, which is a fantasy version of Niroshima Hex, which is a post-apocalyptic Basically, two-player game, uh, somewhat abstract skirmish game that is has very uh, tight mechanisms as far as you're playing in a very uh, uh, limited space, making decisions, you know, trying to make decisions three, four, five turns ahead on how you're going to activate and set up different attacks and potentially combinations of attacks based on how your units are configured. Um, but so check out that video to get an unboxing of Monolith Arena. These are army packs to Monolith Arena that you can buy separately, and they add a whole new faction. You get four factions in the box of Monolith Arena, and then these are new factions in and of their own right. So which one should we do for? Let's do academics because it's higher up on the alphabet. So this is the academics army pack and it comes in a little box here you can hear stuff flipping around this is basically a tile game you're going to be laying out tiles on this very small battle board and configuring them so where they can uh, uh, have uh, op um, to have the most uh, opportunistic attack or, or best setup for an attack for that specific unit whether it's you know, ranged or, or local or what have you, and also having support for that attack. And there, there are certain things called runes that help you support the attack. And then you're going to have this other, another type of uh, tile, which is uh, your activation or orders. And that's going to trigger uh, the entire attack. So you're basically, there's going to be rounds of you and your opponent setting up your pieces on the board. Then you'll play one of the, either you or your opponent's going to play uh, an order, basically a battle order, and it will kind of trigger the whole thing. And so it resolves based on order of, of attack and like kind of the speed of the unit and then how it's configured, who is it facing and what's its type of attack and the, and the like. So it looks like we get a, uh, here's the academic. So this is in a different language. What do we got here? Is this, uh, don't know. Hopefully this, we have the English in here. Yep, here's the English. So I'm not sure is that uh, is that Polish maybe? Because this game, this game, this company is from Poland, Port Portal Games. But so that you get you get one of these. Um, Faction boards, which gives you a little background of the faction and then gives you your, talks about your orders and some common problems and some features. So it gives you a little bit of background on how to play these this faction. And then this is the description of the actual tiles. You know, everybody has a banner. That's what you're trying to protect. The goal of this game is to eliminate the other side's banner. It starts off at like 20 hit points or 20 points and then you're supposed to do a bunch of attacks to get that down to zero. And the first one to do that wins. And here's your champions, and here's your runes that basically support the champions. But these are your main attackers in the game, or your main skirmishers. So you get one of those. It's kind of nice. It's got a little bit of a gloss to it there. And then uh, it doesn't have the same texture. If you looked at my Monolith Arena, those are much, has more of a texture to it. There's not as much texture on this, but generally the cards look somewhat the same. Then you have, this is the rules for the expansion. And there's in two different languages, of course, there. And then this is the English on the front here. It gives you a little background story, some new rules based on the, the, the that are uh, unique to the academics. And that's it. So not a lot of new rules there. And then you have the, uh, ooh, we got a little baggie there, like two baggies, got two baggies there. And then you get the actual tiles themselves. So there's some pr pretty cool art there. And then this is the different attacks. And the numbers usually are the, the and the, like the, this one, this unit's able to move is one of the special abilities. But then you have the numbers usually are the, which the order of attack, you know, one, two, three, I believe. And these are like runes that help support the attack. 
and they're 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 dual sided, but the back side is just the same uh, notation of what what faction it's to. The the operative information is on the front. Here's some more of their tiles. These are these are the order tiles. So this one lets you move. I'm not sure what that symbol is. They have some netting here, so they can like net people. Some of their units might have that ability. Um, think of like the old gladiator games where you had the that one gladiator that had like the trident in the net. Well, these things can net people. It's got a different special ability there. But the art's pretty cool on these. And then there's the banner. So this is the thing you're trying to protect. And some more order tiles. And that's a battle order. So when you play that down, I'm not sure what that symbol is. I'll have to read up on the rules. But when you play that tile, that will activate the combat. You know, so whatever, what, wherever, whenever, wherever, ever, whatever unit is configured. Golly, can I even talk today? Depending on how the units are configured, the the attacks will rattle off, you know, in order, and then uh, the what they'll uh, come into effect, and whatever's left on the board is left on the board. Or if they're attacking this, then this will start taking some damage, and you win the game. So that is the academics. I'm assuming that there's a certain amount of magic that goes with them, uh, given the name there. So that's what you get in the academics uh, battle or army pack, I should say. Let's let's open up these. These are golems. Golem, golems. Whoop. The battle pack here looks a little damaged, but hopefully none the worse for wear here. And then we pop this open. Ooh. Nothing hiding in there. Okay. Get a couple of baggies in this one as well. You're going to get the uh, um, faction card. So two different languages as well. Here is the English. So you get a little bit of background story, some description about its orders, its runes, some features it has, and then these are the actual description of the tiles. Of course, you're trying to protect the banner, uh, the champions, and then the golems. So this is has it adds a new, whole new feature to this game. You have these golems out here instead of instead of runes. Uh, runes usually add support, and then these golems look like they're additional units. We'll, we'll take a closer look when we get to the tiles themselves. And then you get it, I think maybe this is in uh, Polish maybe, is the other uh, card there. So you get uh, two languages in the cards and the same is true for the rules. These are like the special rules that you get uh, for the golems. Uh, you get a little background story, army description, and then some t description of new tiles, maybe a different way to set up some effect on gameplay and then you get uh talk this man that's going into the golems themselves and how they're used so a little bit more rules than what you saw in the academics so we're adding a new feature to this game here and here are the tiles themselves there it's all on the same thick stock that you saw in the base game and so i guess they do have some runes and i wonder if this is a golem but that looks like the banner there I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's the that's the banner or or the king or the flag. If you're playing capture the flag, that's something you got to protect. But you can kind of tell the art on here. You can see the way the different tacks are and what their you know initiatives are. That they have some special features. Those on there as well. And this one here is dual sided, so it's interesting. So they have some different markings on each side. So. That's something new. I wonder if that's a golem and what some of the different things it does. Here's some of the orders. So that's like a battle order that will trigger the whole thing. And then this is a new order, it looks like. I'm not familiar with that one is. That's a, That's got to be a golem, right? And uh, yeah, so the golems look like they're two-sided and they have two different things to them. And uh, some more. Here's some runes. Here's some regular units. Then you got some a couple of golems there. And then some more orders. These are like the move order. So, you know, once you place a tile, it's there. But then if you place a move order, you're able to potentially move it uh, within within the rules of the game and uh, put it in a more uh, opportune situation. 
or position. And so those all are golems there. So that is what you get in a army pack of the golems. So you have, uh, now you have, if you got, you have to have the base game to play this. So you're going to have four factions in the base game. And if you get these two, you'll have uh, two more factions, the academics and the golems. And both of them look like they play a little bit different than the base factions and add a little bit more uh, nuanced gameplay to Monolith Arena. So that's what you have here for the unboxing of the expansions, or at least two of the expansions, uh, the Academics and the Golems, for Monolith Arena. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If you're interested in this, i uh, love to see a dialogue. If you've played either one of these factions, love to see any comments on that, what you think about it. If you've played Monolith Arena, love to see some thoughts or, or comments on that as well. Look, always like to see a dialogue started. Um, but, uh, you know, if you are a Niroshima Hex fan, look to hear what you think about that. And if you played the two, which one do you prefer, Niroshima Hex and all its various factions? Or do you like uh, Monolith Arena and how it's doing it from a fantasy perspective or dressing it from a fantasy perspective? Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for stopping by on this Saturday. If you're watching it on a Saturday, if you're watching it another time, that's okay too. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day, evening, morning, middle of the night, whenever you watch this. I'm just happy you stopped by and are spending some time with me. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.